It's Tim, and this is April 6th, Thursday, 2017. And I talk about it a bit because arsenic gets a really bad rap. And I want to show you a prime example of this uh, and how ridiculous the bad rap is. So what we're looking at here on this front page is uh, the International Agency for Cent for Research on Cancer, which is a part of the World Health, World Health Organization, and it is funded by the National United States National Cancer Institute, uh, United States uh, National Institute of Environmental Health Services, CDC, American Cancer Society, French National Cancer Institute, blah, 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 blah. Whenever I see the CDC, it always makes me curious whether, whether there's fact or fiction going on, because I don't trust a word that those people say. But anyway, their entire function is to do research on cancer, but they have their monograph section, which is what we're looking at here, and that's actually what is funded by the people, the, the organizations which I've just indicated. Uh, so what they do is they determine what substance or, or compound is known to be, is proven, try to prove what's cancer-causing what's not. So when they classify it, they classify them and they, sub, they break them up into groups. And you can see the different groups right here. But group one is the one I want you to pay attention to. Group one is, uh, there's 119 agents, compounds, substances, whatever you want to call them, in which the World Health Organization has, has determined that are absolutely cancer-causing according to all clinical science and evidence. Okay? So, but there's indisputable proof that it causes cancer. So, group 2A... Uh, and 2B, which is where, I can't remember which one of them glyphosate is in. Ridiculous, but that's where they sit. But I'm going to show you arsenic. And where ar arsenic sits as a group 1 carcinogen, I just wanted there to be no mistake in, in exactly what they mean when they call it a group 1 carcinogen. That it is cancer-causing to humans, proven beyond a reasonable doubt. So, here we go, and this is their list. And here we show all arsenic compounds. Arsenic and inorganic arsenic compounds covering all forms of arsenic is group one. Absolutely cancer causing, right? So you should be afraid of arsenic. You know, even Dr. Oz told you to. Can't, or arsenic's bad, arsenic's going to give you cancer and you're going to die. That's what they all want you to believe. They're full of shit. And now I'm going to show you. So here we are. Uh, this is from the Journal of the International Society of Oncono Development Biology uh, in, and Medicine. Uh, liver cancer. Destroying liver cancer with arsenite, which is arsenic. Okay. Here's the first one. URLs are up here, folks. If you guys want to see them, I'll highlight them. I'll highlight them as I go through them, I suppose. Uh, so there, there it is. Blah 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 blah. Uh, it's a chemotherapeutic agent, uh, and the promotes it, it kills liver cancer. Okay, so let's just move on. Now we have the anti-cancer anti effect of arsenide on cell migration, cell cycle, and ap apoptosis in human pancreatic cancer cells. Arsenite may be a useful tool for the treatment of patients with certain types of pancreatic cancer without causing adverse effects upon normal pancreatic, ce pancreatic cells. It's attacking only the cancer cells in, in pancreatic cancer and leaving the rest untouched. Arsenic, once again. You know, the same one that the World Health Organization and the likes of Dr. Oz are scaring the hell out of everybody about. Arsenic's going to kill you and give you cancer. Uh, this is from the Journal of Oncology Letters. Major uh, cancer publication would be anti-anything natural. Uh, so let's move on to the next one. Uh, this is the conclusion of... This is lung cancer. I'll, I'll scroll up to the top in a minute. Uh, this is from the European version of uh, PubMed Central. Uh the findings in this study suggest, also suggest that ATO, meaning, meaning arsenic trioxide, 
has the potential to be used as a chemotherapeutic agent in the treatment of non-small cell lung cancer. However, further in vivo human or animal studies uh, need, need to be completed. But they've proven it in vitro at least here. Um, and who is this from? Oops. Scroll, 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 scroll. Uh, this one is from... The Journal of Cancer Science Therapeutics. I don't want to go off through all, all of those, so trust, trust me, it's there. You guys can find it out. You, have to, you guys can click there. After. If I do that, I'm going to screw everything up. So let's move on to the next one. Here we have uh, the Journal for Oxidative Medicine and Cellular Longevity just last year. Uh... Reactive oxygen species targeted for pancreatic uh, cancer. Again, uh, blah, 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 blah. You're going to have to trust me on this one, unless we're going to go through this entire, entire, entire study, all probably 50 pages, however many pages of it. Uh, they used arsenic trioxide to provo provoke the intracellular R ROS to, to induce cancer cell death. Trust me. If you go th read through it all, you'll find it. Do I have time to do that now and keep you guys from falling asleep? No. Uh, here's the URL. You can go have a peek for yourself. Do, 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 do. Just leaving that there for a second so you guys can see it. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one. Dove Press, which is an open access scientific and medical for med scientific and medical research. Um, conclusion. Uh, which one is this? This is arsenic sulfide. Arsenic sulfide inhibited the migration and invasion of gastric cancer, so stomach cancer, by blocking tumor cell adhesion, so it stops it from metastasizing, decreasing the ability for tumor cells to destroy the basement membrane and therefore suppressing their angiogenesis meaning stopping the cancer in stomach cancer okay pretty straightforward so here we go to plus one journals plus plus one however you want to put it this is pretty interesting because as they state um who actually did this particular one published peer-reviewed open access research journal but it nor they normally come from other journals and I don't want to dig too much here anyway the more I the more I dig into it the I'm going to lose something and screw this all up but I only have a few left the p53 gene is your cancer suppressing gene and they identify and agree that more than 50 percent of tumors are caused by a mutation of the p53 gene uh, including acute leukemia so what they found was that arsenic trioxide degrades the mutation. Um, and we'll just get to the, the bottom line here. Um, promotes mutation, mutation degra degra de <laughs> degradation sorry, and uh, growth suppression in tumors. So it actually suppresses growth in cancer tumors, all of them. No, no, I, that's not fair. Well, they're talking about leukemia, so there are no tumors. Uh, so they're talking about tumor-based cancers as well as blood-borne being, being leukemia. Okay, so all of this while it's being listed and classified as a cancer-causing substance. Oh, I may have grabbed a wrong one here, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, there's going to be too much. It's there. I'd just be too much to dig through to show you. But... This is abstracts of a bunch of different papers. Uh, let's just move on beyond that. So here we go. We have uh, carcinoma liver cancer once again. This is from the Journal of Biomed Research International. <laughs> Taiwanese Army Armed Forces Hospital, Taiwan, Taipei done by the armed forces in Taiwan mm -hmm. 
Again, not listing that they used. <laughs> They're going to be the death of me in this. I should have gone through all of this ahead of time and had it highlighted and ready to show you. Uh, I didn't expect it to take this long. Anyway, again, arsenic trioxide was used to provoke uh, the death of cancer cells in liver cancer, which we've already shown you, so it's not going to be that big of a surprise. Here's the official journal of the Japanese Cancer Association, known as Cancer Science. Uh, genistein synergizes with arsenic or iodide, trioxide, sorry, arsenic trioxide to suppress human hepocellular carcinoma. So basically it talks about the same thing as the other, except this one's more specific in that they are talking about, and they list it so that for you to see, arsenic trioxide. So we guess we didn't really need the last one. Uh, no side effects, uh, even with a high dose at 5 milligrams per kilogram of arsenic trioxide. Uh, investigation is a therapeutic research to combat uh, liver cancer. So we have liver cancer, we have pancreatic cancer, we have lung cancer, we have stomach cancer. That these are, this same Arsenic's been tried on all of them, yet it's listed with the World Health Organization as a group one absolute cancer-causing substance. But all of these are showing even in high amounts, which they showed at five milligrams per kilogram of body weight, that it is actually curing cancer, reversing or, or stopping, halting cancer growth. So let's move on to the next one. There's more can uh, arsenic trioxide and more cancer cells. Uh, this one is from the Journal of... Of the Asian Pacific Journal of Cancer Preview, or Asian Pacific Journal of Cancer, something, something, something. Um, again, they found in pancreatic cancer a significant downregulation of SKP2 after treatment with uh, ATO is arsenic trioxide. We revealed that regulated downstream genes. Regulated downstream genes of P53. P53 P, remember, P53 is your anti-tumor gene. Uh, novel strategy. They, that it could be the inhibition, in, inhibition sorry, of the SKP2 SKPT2, uh, treatment for pancreatic cancer with arsenic trioxide. How much of this do we need? So while they're talking about it, here's tri Trizonex. Trizonex is a, is a cancer drug. Its generic name is arsenic. How did they get this approved? By taking it over here to the World Health Organization and having it classified as a group one carcinogen. That's how they get these drugs approved. They take it away from the public. They scare the public away from it. And then they use it to cure, to cure, reverse, treat your cancer while telling you that it actually causes cancer. So is it a treatment for cancer that the pharmaceutical companies can make money off of, or is it something that is so horribly proven to ca cause cancer that you need to stay away from? It can't be both ways. And th What you're seeing right here is the complete corruption of all of the groups that are involved. These, these groups are funded by and em employing the... Oops, wrong page. The scientists that are a part of this are from all over the world, the, the International Agency for Research on Cancer, and they come from these same groups that are funding them. Uh, the U.S. Congress or Senate hearings actually called for the dismantling of the World Health Organization because of the corruption and, and influ outside influences and how they almost never get anything right. But it's not I don't think it's that they're not getting anything right. It's that they're under the influence of the pharmaceutical companies, because the pharmaceutical companies know that if they can provoke them to ban a substance uh, from the retail marketplace, they can then patent it as a drug. Uh, once it's patented, that same mineral arsenic, for instance, that I have here for about $18 uh, would cost you about probably 2500 or I, I don't know what the price tag is on trioxide. Trioxide maybe, since it's classified as a cancer drug, it's at least $2,500 per month. Uh, if it's not 
two hundred and fifty thousand. I don't I don't know what the price tag is on it. I should have looked that up in advance. You guys can look that up yourselves. But this is the corruption in which I'm talking about and why you really need to challenge everything that you're being told. And it doesn't matter if it's from them or it's from me. You, you're responsible for your own health. You're responsible to practice diligence uh, and make sure that the information that you accept as fact and truth is indeed just that and that, uh, that you can prove it. If you can't prove it, you might be taking somebody's bad advice uh, and feeding that literally <laughs> and figuratively to your children's and your children and your family. You need to be sure that you're not. There's too much misinformation in all aspects of medicine, whether it's allopathic or it's natural. There's too much corruption because everybody's fighting for your money. The way to stop that fight, do your research. Don't just believe it because they say it's natural. Don't just... or. If you're anti-natural medicine, don't just believe it because they say it's unnatural and it's proven by the FDA or the CDC, because we see that the CDC and even the United States National Cancer Institute is be, is funding these people that are calling arsenic a cancer-causing absolute cancer-causing substance, while they're on the other hand, the FDA, one of its sister groups, is approving drugs based on the same thing to treat cancer. All of these studies are going on, and you'll, you might have noticed throughout them all, if you look at American studies, most of them will, will probably have a negative uh, report on, actually, no, I didn't really see any, a negative uh, finding on arsenic. That's the way things work. Look outside the United States, and then you start finding truth. There's too much influence, pharmaceutical influence, stakeholder influence uh, in science in the United States. It's absolutely ridiculous, and Canada. It's absolutely ri ridiculous. They back up truckloads of these of money to these guys, to these researchers' houses. They get the findings they want to. They want to. They want them to get. Then these guys retire. I've seen it myself on something in which my wife became a experimental, uh, a clinical trial patient for in a disc, uh, spinal disc implant. Got it. They got it approved. The local uh, neurosurgeon had it approved here in Canada immediately retired after the clinical study. Turned out that what he was doing is he wouldn't allow anybody to talk to him if they had any issues at all because he would have to record it or his research uh, helpers. Uh, he wouldn't let them talk to him, make them go to their family doctor. It turned out that the these disc implants weren't lasting. They were lasting on an average of six months before they deteriorated. He's gone. He doesn't care. He's retired now. He got the big, the big check from the makers. They got the big check and how everybody use, everybody using it and it taking 10 years for, for people to sort, sort it out and take them off of the market. And they just don't care. Their money's made. Once the money's made, it doesn't matter because none of them are being criminally prosecuted for the lies and deceptions and the violations of public trust. Anyway, I could go on forever. Probably maybe something I should have done on a uh, live broadcast, but I thought I'd do it this way. I'm going to shut up now and move on. Everyone have a great day. Bye-bye.